SSH can be used to set up a SOX proxy through an intermediate host onto a far-reaching host or network. As an example, I have a client host here who has a SOX proxy configuration for proxy chains on port 1234. I have an intermediate host running on dot 10 and a host only accessible from the intermediate host on dot 33. The host on dot 10 is running an SSH server. So now I can set up the SOX proxy through the SSH tunnel with the dash capital D option. And I'm going to specify that the port should be 1234 because that's the port that I have configured in the proxychains.com file. And then otherwise, I just log into the SSH server like normal. So now the tunnel is set up. And I can run any proxy aware program over port 1234. And I can use proxy chains to run programs that are not proxy aware over that same tunnel. As an example, if I wanted to do an nmap scan, I can use proxy chains to tunnel nmap over that port. So let's say I wanted to scan the top 10 ports. So as the scan's running, you'll notice that over on the SSH connection, we're getting some connect fails. And that makes sense because some of the ports that Nmap is trying to connect to are closed. Back on the results, we can see that there were two open ports and there were a bunch of other closed ports accounting for these different connection failed messages that we got back on the SSH tunnel.